Now our next quest in our Excel automation reporting system UI is to create a detailed report for our reporting system. So as you can see, we have everything in this particular test cycle ID and we have pretty much less information, but this particular information is not the whole test case information itself. Remember we created a table called as details table right here, the details report table. This particular report table is what is going to hold all your detailed reporting information. So if we execute something called as insert record, remember there is something called as insert result stored procedure, exec sp underscore insert result. So if you maybe see the sp underscore help text, now you'll remember what the implementation we did right here. You can see that it is inserting the TBL details report with the parent cycle ID, feature name, scenario name, step name, exceptions, and the result. So if you are going to execute this particular exec sp underscore insert result and the feature name, let's say, I'm just going to say test feature and then the scenario name, let's say I'm going to call it as test scenario and let's say I want to give the step name as test step. Oh, so cool, right? And the exception is null and the result is actually passed, right? So now if I execute this particular uh, stored procedure, you can see that it is keep on inserting a value for me into my table. And right now if I go to this particular table, I can just see what is the value being inserted for which parent cycle ID. Remember the parent cycle ID is nothing but our test cycle ID's key or the foreign key. You can see that it is inserted for all the 107. This is nothing but the parent cycle ID. So if you see for this particular parent cycle ID, we have inserted all these test results. If I want to see this detailed report, Currently in our reporting system, we don't have any such provision because we have only one single page and this one single page is not really going to make any difference. So for making this to happen, what I'm going to do is if a user clicks that particular test cycle ID, maybe, so he will actually see the detailed report. Let's say if I click this on 07, then there should be some kind of detailed report page or something like that where the user can view all the different kinds of uh, results for the particular test case for the particular test cycle ID. If it is really not making any sense, let's quickly write the code and make it more sensible. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a few lines of code for our existing code base. So I'm just going to stop the execution that we were executing from the previous video. And then for this particular test cycle ID, remember in our implementation if I click this 107 then it should take me to the next page with the details report and I should also get this particular value 107 so that I can make use of that in our next page as a query string to perform the operation once again sorry guys for this particular video we need to have at least a little basic information on the ASP.NET because Again, ASP.NET is the core for developing this particular small reporting system website. So we need to have that information as well. So query string is where it will take the particular value directly into the next page. And query string is kind of very, very uh, okay kind of practice. And we're not really using it in a lot uh, currently. So I'm just, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add something called as a template field. And within this template field, I'm going to say test cycle ID. And then within the test cycle ID, I'm just passing a, a valve of the test cycle ID. And then here I'm writing a command called on link click or on LNK click. So this method is again an event which we need to write in our code behind. It is going to take us to the next page, which is nothing but our details, detailed report page. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add one more page here just a dummy page kind of and uh, let's call this as detailed report page right and then hit OK super I'm just gonna save it and then I'm gonna write a very very small code for our index.aspx.cs page 
So all the event code are actually sitting in the code behind. So I'm just gonna go here and then I'm gonna paste this particular code. So what it is saying is response dot redirect of detailed report dot ASPX and I'm passing the query string as parent cycle ID is equal to the e dot command args dot to string. So this is actually the val value, right? So I'm just gonna save it. And now if I execute this particular code, you can actually see nothing will happen great because the detail report is kind of empty, but you can see some beautiful things gonna happen. You can see this time, instead of just a text for the test cycle ID, this time the test cycle ID has got a hyperlink or an URL, right? So if I click this 107 this time, you can see that there is a hyperlink with model slash detailed report dot ASPX query string of parent cycle ID is equal to 107. Meaning with this particular value, we're gonna fetch some data and we're gonna show into the detailed report, right? So this is how we can get the data from one page to another page during navigations. And then we can use this particular query string value as an input for the next page so that that particular next page will render the information for you and show it in a detailed way, right? So the next video will end our UI by creating a very quick detailed report page and we'll show you how the 107 inserted value that we did in our database will look like.